Dry tip is leftover reoccurring paint that's building up on the tip of the needle. Over time, it will build up enough to cause the airbrush to slow down, clog, or splatter onto your project. Temperature can influence this as well. It typically happens more often when it's hotter outside versus cooler months. The paint is drying faster than normal speeding up this process. One way to help with this is using some paint retarder to slow the drying time. Keep in mind, going this route will also slow your project down as well since the paint on the panel will take longer to dry. I've heard some people mention over reducing your paint which is not my favorite. It's easy to thin too much and have other problems like sags or runs and even adhesion issues. If your needle is fairly old and has some miles on it, the slight imperfections the needle might have can also trap paint into these areas, making it easier to build up. Polishing or using needle loop can provide a nice surface for the paint to slide across. This only lasts for a short period, so it will need to be reapplied often. Glycerin is also commonly used as an option. Having a crown cap or an easily accessible needle end works best for me, so you can just use a Q-tip dipped in cleaner or reducer and wipe the needle off carefully. You can use your fingers to pinch it off or an old soft toothbrush as well. Needles are very fragile at the end, so do these steps very carefully. One of the best practices I want to mention is follow through with the trigger action. As you push down for paint and back, you want to end the same way with letting the trigger forward again to finish with a stream of air. Start with air, finish with air. Keeping all these things in mind, I hope it helps you with your airbrushing techniques and keeps your steady workflow going. Please let us know any tips and tricks you use as well and thanks for all your time and watching this spray gunner video.